All right, so underneath this big old Honda lawnmower with a separate clutch for the blade, so the engine runs without the blade turning, so it must have a cast iron flywheel. Uh, there's two brand new blades, or sort of brand new blades, under there. For a mower like this, I would think that we would have more of this type of a situation with a dual blade, either tapered or not, the dual blade under there. Um, but because it has a clutch, we can test it without the blade turning. Uh, there is no bent crankshaft. I tested the uh, position of the blade just to the frame, and it's good both ways. The spark plug is undone, by the way. So the blade is as good as it can be for a beater. So now let's turn it over. It's a strange way to start a video, hey? But I thought if I get it turned over, I might as well uh, show you the blade. So now, here we have GCV 190, not a GCV 160. A little bit bigger mower. Seven horsepower, maybe? I still like the horsepower designation. And here is the air filter. It is actually respectable for an old mower. This is an old plastic mower. HRX 217. So I'm going to start it up for you because it's got a terrible knock. And uh, being as it's got those newer blades on there, I was thinking maybe somebody hit something and broke the blades, stuck new blades on, but we've got something wrong with the flywheel key or something imbalanced because it just sounds awful. So let's get the tender lift out of the way and uh, I'll just start it up for you. I might take a couple of pulls now because I did have it turned over on its side. Sounds bad, eh? Oh, I've done this before. Spark plug! There we go. Sounds really bad, doesn't it? So today we're going to find out if it's worth fixing. And I'm just, oh, I don't have to worry about mosquito spray now. <laughs> Let's get her on the lift. There might be something loose on the blade clutch, the drive, like, it's a very complicated mower. As I was rolling it into the traps, the uh, front wheel came off. That's just a bolt. Look at the smoke in here. Okay. So, I like to kind of line them up like this. A little bit of an angle back to the bench. So you guys can look. And we obviously need some elevation. There's a lot of good stuff on this mower, but I want it to run. Let's think positively. It's for my good buddy Irv. Worked with him. He's been good to my family. I've been good to his family. Isn't that how it goes, right? And his family has always has good equipment. 10 millimeter. Let's have a look at the flywheel key. First thing off, bang bang. Except you gotta go the right direction on the on the kicker outer hooser tool. Okay, let's start a pile of parts fresh for this guy. Over here. Rewind. That works. Now the gas tank is going to come off. I 
think I'm going to kick it right off the tank. I'm going to disconnect it from the uh, on-off valve. I did from the other side, but it's hard to reach. Good. Isn't that sweet? So there's gas in the tank, eh? Okay, let's just have a look here. Oh, you know, it might be something so simple. Wouldn't that be something, you guys? Because people have been in here before me, right? Let's just get you over here. And I want to show you something. Look at the uh, coil is rubbing on the on the uh, flywheel. Couldn't be something that simple, could it? So, so this is a lesson, and you just keep going until you you find as many things as you can. So let's go. I'm gonna undo this. Oh. Okay, this is a ten millimeter. Oh, it's off. No, it's not off. Just felt weird. And this is the first time I've seen one where one is 10 millimeter and the other one's 8 millimeter. Let's see if that's 8 over there. No. Nine? Yep. Weird. Weirdness all over. Weirdness all over. Okay, I'm gonna set this so it's like at least thirty thousandths away. Can I do that? There we go. You know, all that oil has still got mosquitoes in here. We have mosquitoes the size of ducks. There's a season on them. Okay, all I did was back that off and tighten it up again. Now we want to see if we get the knock, 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 knock. I'm going to set it for the right depth now. My buddy close from Denmark gave me this gauge setting device. Originally why I did this was I was going to check the flywheel key, right? Ten thousandths of an inch? I don't know what that is in metric. I just do it in uh, ten thousandths of an inch. Okay. Rotate or pull. <laughs> I'm just going to put that gas tank back on there without connecting up the... Ow, 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 I just cut myself on the cables. Good. And rewind. Should be hanging down here. Very, very, very expensive mower in its day, right? Ten mil on the on the zippity doo dah thing. I don't think all of our problems are solved yet. 
going to kick this out a little further out into the uh, into the world. Back you guys up. I'm going to lower you down. I'm going to take you down. I need my little niece here. She likes to squeeze this handle. Not while well the mowers are running. Are you ready? Oh, it's still thumping. Ooh, that's something like that. That's not good. It should fire because we've got a little gas in the carburetor. Now it's not, now it's not igniting. It's a heck of a pull too. Oh, <laughs> gotta turn it on, baby. But it is easier to start once I figured it all out. Okay, flywheel key. I'll have to undo the coil again. Sure is bouncing around, huh? I guess I should make sure there's enough oil in it to make it do this too, right? Maybe it's overfilled or no oil. That would be very, very scary. Get an old rag for this. The rag's thinner than the oil. Well, it's got a little. Not enough. So I'm going to put three quarters of this in there. It's just old oil. Now we're going to see how much oil we have. It's kind of a, a saga of a neglected lawnmower. Excuse me. Excuse, excuse me to our camera. Okay, we have reading on the stick now. I don't think that's going to cause our problem. It had oil in the bottom. And on Hondas, you don't put, you don't screw the dipstick in. You just touch it. Okay, we are good. Okay, so now we have a full tank of oil in the engine. Full crank case. Crank case. I'm just going to see if I can start it now. <laughs> Sounds a little better, but not a lot. <sighs> What's my next search? Flywheel key? If it's if it's firing at the wrong time, it will make noise. I've seen that more times than you guys know. Yep, flywheel key. So now we got to undo what we just did. Every guy who's worked on home has been through this. Back on tight. <clears throat> well, we might as well loosen that coil off even more now. Just going to do it. Snuck down tight against the flywheel for some reason. Oh, well, that's 
viscosity formed from heat. Interesting. Okay. So it runs. It runs a little better with oil in it. It runs a little better with that coil disconnected. With or with that coil ten ten thousandths away from the flywheel. I'm going to have a look at the spark plug, and then we'll yank the uh, flywheel off of there. Are you guys still watching? Sort of, kind of, eh? Not bad. For me, I get into the trouble and I forget the cameras there. So what you see is what you get. Yeah, it's fireable, right? I want to see how much noise it makes without the uh, plug-in. Okay, drill. Three eighths chuck or what is that? That's probably an eighteen millimeter, isn't it? It is a 819 millimeter. Now I just want to hear what the engine sounds like turning over without a spark plug. So, no plug, no compression. That's interesting. Cool. Well, damn it. Now what? And that battery is almost dead on that drill. I'm going to just tilt it here as we stay. Why is that not working properly for me? Oh, okay. No plug. That feels tight but doable. Huh. Okay, I think it's uh let's get that flywheel off of it. Air, I need air for that. Alright, let's get this flywheel off of here. Maybe we'll learn something. It's just been around for a long time and it has not been worked on that much. Except with that or coil right up against the flywheel like that. Good. I can't really tell. See, I told you it was going to have a cast iron flywheel. Then the reason for that is that it has a clutch for the blade, so the blade's not turning, and on a standard lawnmower that has no clutch, just an engine and a blade, the blade is the flywheel. But on this lawnmower, the flywheel is, is cast iron in the block. Now, how can I get that off of there? I don't know. I've had a hard time telling on these uh, on some of these Honda types whether the flywheel key is good or not. Because it's tucked underneath, eh? We gotta find out, guys. I can grab it there. There, there, and there. I need a three-wheel, three-way jaw port. Let's put this guy on the ground. Tools. I have to go to Plan B. I don't like Plan B. No, that side. Have 
I got some good stuff to pry on there. Yes, I do. Okay, I got to go to plan B on this. Okay, I'll be back in a bit, guys. All right. Noise maker. I think this has got a bad bearing. The, the engine shaft seems to be sliding back and forth about a quarter, third, an eighth of an inch. We need, we've got every weapon on earth out here already. We need our friend, the bolt. We need it sticking up about enough not to damage the threads. Now, what kind of a hammer should I use on that? Uh, a bigger peening hammer. Oh, ah, oh, yes. The sticks are getting bigger, guys. Let me come around this side. I need this piece of wood too, I don't want to damage it. Okay, let's put some pressure on that. Wood, of course. There it is. Yeah, yeah, suck. You just have to be patient. Putting stuff away, being a good boy. Okay. Now we can find out what's going on with this loose creation. Finally, it looks okay. I need a little piece of pipe. right back okay look here this is just a piece of pipe it's been cut at an angle don't worry about that it's on top of the crankshaft where the flywheel goes and I want you to have a good look right where the crankshaft comes out of the motor You ready? That's not a word of a lie there, guys. Look at that. Can you see that on the film on, on, on the camera? I'm not sure how to solve that problem. That's why it was low on oil. Hmm, I gotta think about this. I've never seen that much play in a shaft that on a running engine. Okay, thanks for this, guys. I saw it when. Oh. I saw it. When the flywheel was on, and I saw it wobbling a little bit, which was why, now it makes sense why the coil was so tight, right? Because it was just bashing against the coil. Okay, I'm going to stop for a minute. Okay, my friend, the verdict is we're going to part it out. I owe Mixed Mowers from Mixed Mowers the Mower Man. I owe him a consulting fee of some sort. But he has to come and get it. <laughs>